Hello everybody, welcome back to this video. I'm going to show you guys today how to build an abandoned product flow or browse abandonment flow, whatever you guys want to call it within your Klaviyo account. This flow will print revenue for you. I'm going to show you all of the best practices and also uh, I kind of made like a little doc that kind of goes over exactly how I would actually get more advanced with it. But also I'll show you some content examples and how to actually build it out on Klaviyo. So let's get into it. So first of all, you're going to jump into your Klaviyo account. You're going to go over to flows and then you're going to want to hit create flow. I'm going to keep this super simple just so that it's like really easy to follow, right? So one of the recommendations is going to be browse abandonment flow. This is what you're going to want to essentially click on. If it's not on the home page, uh, you just want to hit search right and then you're going to want to go to this one right here so browse abandonment flow i just always like to rename this to abandoned product because this is our agency naming conventions um you don't really need to figure uh, like do any type of tagging this is just a demo account that's why you get all of these errors if you correctly integrated shopify or big commerce or woocommerce with your klaviyo account none of these will pop up it's just that this is connected to a stripe account rather than a shopify account right now so that's why so once you get this, you're going to want to hit create a flow. And the structure is basically 90% of the way that, right? Like, I don't understand why people in other videos demonstrate this from scratch. This is actually how you realistically do it. So once you are on the screen, you're going to want to hit trigger, right? Once you're in trigger, you want to hit flow filter. You just want to double check because uh, th they sometimes change this up, right? which is uh, check out zero times since starting this flow, place order zero times since starting this flow, has not been in flow since last 30 days. I always like to change this to 14, 30 in my opinion is way too long. And the only other filter you're gonna add, wanna add in here is uh, someone has or has not done. And for the metric, it's actually gonna be a ba uh, added to cart. So this added to cart metric is not installed on this demo account specifically, but normally you're gonna wanna just scroll to API and there's gonna be something called added to cart. And then you're going to be uh, selecting zero times since starting this flow. Boom. And then you're going to want to hit save. Obviously, I can't do that in this case because it's not installed. But once you do that, you're going to want to hit save and you have the basic structure down. Now, when it comes to the delay for this, I like to have it between one to kind of two hours long, depending on how your how long your abandoned checkout and your abandoned cart metrics uh flow sorry fire so for example if your abandoned checkout is like 45 minute delay in which case this one you're going to want to have at least an hour 30 delay right so that's kind of that we can leave that for two hours for now and then the second email just make sure the time delay is uh 24 hours minus two hours reason being is because we generally tend to check our phone around the same time every single day so you know if you let's say leave it two hours later it just means that most likely they could already be asleep if they, you know, viewed this product at like 10 p.m. at night right before they went to bed because they got your ad. And then like two hours later, they're sleeping. The next day you're following up at midnight. You see what I mean? So you're going to want to set this two hours and then you just want to hit 22, boom, or whatever the amount is, 24 subtracted this number right here. And then you're going to want to add, add another email. So in terms of email content suggestions, I really recommend like a two to three email sequence right here. Nothing too, too long. And email one, really simple. Just it's a reminder based email with no offer. Or if there is an evergreen offer on the website, you want to remind people of the evergreen offer. Email two here, you can kind of include and introduce an offer as an optional thing. But you really want to bring in some unique selling points of the brand, the product, introduce some trust factors. So you know, has it been featured on any publications, for example? Have you ever collabed with any like key opinion leaders in the space? These types of things will work really well in email two and email three, introducing some urgency on the offer is ideal, follow it up with some social proof, potentially some shipping information and that kind of stuff. Now, obviously why I just told you is like super basic and generic, right? If you want specific recommendations, I really recommend you book in a call because I have an email agency, we do a sick job, and yeah, don't want to like plug myself too hard, but yeah, we, we actually do really good work. Anyways, um, so ignoring the generic recommendations, you can actually spice things up by segmenting for really specific product views, right? And this really works well for seven and eight figure brands, which is why if you are that, rather than trying to figure out all of the complicated stuff by yourself, just book in a call with us. 
Now, how you would do that is basically you want to add trigger filters and where it's like, I don't have the any Shopify products integrated on this account, but basically you can do it so that where product value or sorry, uh, where product name equals certain products, it will only show this specific flow to people who view very specific products, right? And then that way you can actually tailor your content over here. So rather than being generic about it, you can tailor very specific content to your specific product page view, right? So that's that. In terms of actually customizing and creating the content, let me show you an example of a flow build that I did for a client not too long ago. So these guys sell like gun optics, right? And it's basically like, you know, the banner image with the dynamic segment, clicking add to cart, it takes them back to the product page, some social proof and uh, reviews on the second page, and then like some assistance and reminder based type of copy uh, over here, right? So how it works is basically the dynamic segment will look like this, right? You actually go into the template email they actually provided you and it's going to look something like this. Template is going to look super basic. You want to delete literally everything except this block right here, right? So you want to hit delete, delete, uh, delete, 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 boom. And then obviously change up the template. Now, in terms of here, you want to make sure to be customizing the actual style of the text here. So once you go to table settings, you can actually customize the width, um, the, the rows and everything in terms of like changing, playing around with the text colors, text uh, font names, um, font sizes, all of this stuff to just make it on brand. Same thing with the color bar. You want to change this to whatever brand color it is. In our case, you know, we want to definitely be matching it with the baby blue on here along with kind of finding a very similar font as well so once you do this you just want to essentially export this as sections and then import it onto Clavio and then leaving the bit of space for dynamic segment which is why our designers are so good at designing this in place so once that's done you can then go ahead and save the email and you're basically good to go honestly like you obviously want to populate email two and if you have an email three then go ahead and build that in Clavio, Clavio as well and you're good to go as I said, to get advanced with it, you really want to be customizing the content per product view, but that doesn't really make sense until you're multi seven figures in revenue per year anyways. So I would just focus on getting the basics right. And if you are a seven and eight figure brand, I don't know why you're watching this video. It's honestly such a waste of your time. Like you should just hire experts like us to do it for you, right? So yeah, hopefully I can speak to you on a call and uh, see if we can actually help you guys ramp up your email marketing performance really quickly. That's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next one.